Boom, boom, boom. Hello everyone, it's Q here. Welcome to my channel if you found it. Um, I'm doing August overview readings for 2022 and <clears throat> Pisces. Last but not least, uh, in fact, I have three pre-shuffles for you as I was inspired to as I put the deck down. Uh, so we'll dive right into it. Um, take what resonates, toss the rest, flip rolls where you need to. Um, Pisces, let's check out your August month here as we dive in. Uh, first of the pre-shuffles is Judgment, that um, rebirth energy there from actually the, the divine, the universe itself, is just setting everything free with its divine light, which light is truth and emotion, tr the temperance expression of mm, holy light. I don't know, it's uh, emotion and passion mixed together and it's just raining forth. Um, guided by intuition and the high priestess energy there, illuminating secrets with divine light. And those secrets revealed calm the waters and lead to a happiness there as the rain falls. The rain being that emotion and realness, that high priestess energy there. It's going to stabilize everything and bring a new beginning to it. One more? No? So that's crossing that there. We'll move into the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is that spying novice creeping from afar instead of just having mm, the bravery to just come and ask and talk and have an, an, a non-daughter or a page level conversation. Walking away from eight broken cups of immaturity and being illuminated to one's inner secrets and walking towards probably this ace of cups here. Yeah, <laughs> the father of cups there, the king of cups holding the ace of cups there. So walking away from immaturity and walking towards the maturity here. And what brought about that is the three of swords there, that energy of heartache, betrayal, pain of being open and honest and not having it reciprocated. And that brings connections back together that in the five cups um as dictated by the um an authority energy reader that i happen to like a lot oh look bonus the fool comes out as i'm trying to pick up the deck and scooch it to a <laughs> more symmetry based um setup i'm gonna put that there as well too actually i'm gonna cross it so we can see the beauty of that three swords there, which leads to this Ace of Cups. This Ace of Cups is becoming boiling as I'm seeing the, the light starting to radiate off of it. So passion is intermixing with this emotion, <laughs> bringing in two cups together, filling two so they can share a reciprocal nature versus Creeper and the shadows and the divine illuminating those shadows. Bringing what? That Knight of Cups. And it's just beautiful. Oh, wow. All that is crossed by the Ten of Cups there. And that's a hell of a pre-shuffle reading there. Uh, the Ace of Cups leads to two cups, which uh, inspires a knight to go get their ultimate happiness there. And letting that butterfly f fly. I like it. Uh, there's your pre-shuffle there, Aquarius. I'm um, sorry, I did the same thing for Aquarius. I called Aquarius Pisces. Uh, I don't know, but you got an Aquarius in your life? Is Aquarius got a Pisces in the oh, tower moment? Tower comes from indecision. Do I do this way? Do I do this way? Do I this way? Just choose one way and go find out. Avoid towers. They're not necessary, but they will happen because the universe will illuminate those shadows. Uh, now judgment has fallen, so if the world shows up in this reading, we have earned the right to step into that new, um, that new cycle. I feel like one of these is going to be our overall energy. Into the cut, that seems like a bright idea. 
Uh, so Pisces, overall energy, overall energy, overall energy, overall energy. Overall energy of this reading is the Two of Cups. And what a beautiful overall energy. So everything I throw on this little slab is going to be crossed by that Two of Cups energy, which is fed by that Ace of Cups, as we saw, as passion, emotion, and an open golden heart rushes towards this connection. That that Knight of Cups is using the chariot to go get what they want. That implies an emperor. All right. Okay. Um, the Judgment, the Son of Cups, and the Ace of Cups wanted to jump back out and maintain their self. So I'm going to put that out as just like a side thing. Um, repeating messages are worth repeating as we transform. Mm -hmm. We transform from that page into stepping in the light of judgment. I like it. This is going to be our reading here. Let's do the connection, surface level, soul level, universe wants to add to the story, and potential final outcome for a structured reading here. And this is our reading. The Ace of Truths falls out on this connection here, so it is solid, it is beautiful, and all it needs is truth to cut through all that darkness. The same thing I was saying as the judgment card there. I'm seeing this as a judgment card here. Surface level, what we interact with, get to those calm waters, get to that happiness. All it has to do is put down all the thoughts that aren't true and hold to just one, the only thing that is real, truth. Soul level, tower, oh. This is read with the truth here. Unless one opens up and accepts truth, the universe will bring everything that is fake and not real to the ground. Like these swords here. Remember, crossing all this is the Two of Cups. The reason why the tower is here is the Two of Cups is crossing it. Just look at it like this way. Six swords is there because of the Two of Cups. The Sword of Truth is there because of the Two of Cups. All this energy there is because of the Two of Cups. Done. Universe, what you want to add to it? And that King of Cups returns. Getting to truth in the light of the divine opens up that Ace of Cups for everyone. And that knight has to bring it. Their soul has told them to. Mm, beautiful. Uh, potential final outcome. Let's place it like right here. Mm. Uh, symmetry. Hi, my name's Q and I got OCPD. <laughs> um, cool. All right. Potential final outcome for this. And we'll place it right here. This is wa that walking away. The cars from the pre-shuffle are returning here as one walks away from what would cause this tower and walk towards expressing um, that Ace of Cups. The same thing from the pre-shuffle there. Bottom of the deck is that transformation energy. And when we transform from those towers and having our boundaries up and walk towards that light. And that light leads us out of the illusions that hold us back, turning that card from right side up to upside down, letting the sun and that Ace of Cups fill that cup putting down the puffing up and pride and having it their way as that lightning strikes the King of Wands. Again, this is crossed by the Two of Cups there. Allowing that tower to happen and seeing the, the little snake for what they are when you take away their hoods <laughs> leads to that passionate new beginning. That passionate new beginning leads to an expression of emotion, that water into wine kind of card of the six pentacles. Ha, huh, look at that. Let's pull that over to here. So, that transformation of death and truth, truth turns faking uh, pretense, uh, puff up, be big, into the mush pot that they really are, the father of cups. And that brings a passionate new beginning that they can share with the Queen of Cups. So we walk away from the illusions and walk towards our Queen of Cups. 
independently wielding the truth. Cross by, um, actually we'll place it over here for symmetry and has to let that um, be known. This is the Eight of Wands, that fast-paced communication energy card here. And it has to be said, because the light on this connection is going out as that flame has been put out. Go get your better and more unique than a unicorn. That eight-point rainbow buck deer. <laughs> That's what that passionate new beginning gets. And everything that you need in order to go have this Two of Cups is right out there in front of you. I like it. Uh, let's get the little mini deck here. Solid new beginning on the bottom there. Cross, uh, cut into the worries inside of our head. And if we get out of our head and just uh, step into that divine light of that judgment card there. Boom. A nice repeating message as this fell out is the magician. That choice of the two of wands. And that page of wands is having that childlike, um, untainted innocence and that six of cups kind of energy of what the Burger King here, as the King Cobra is often called, um, getting back from its puffing up and fakeness by accepting the truth and getting it back to an open and receptive uh, nature of the Page of Wands. Um, keep those boundaries up, though. And that's fine. Oh, there's a card right set up. All right. The Ace of Pentacles falls back to the beginning <laughs> or the bottom of the deck as that resolve comes out. And since the Ace of Pentacles came back out around again, I'm going to do like this over here and pull it out and place it where those are. That solid new beginning gets us to our bottom of the deck here, which is going to be our crossing energy for these three cards. So uh, the Magician has everything that they need see which uh, path they want to take, get back to that nostalgic innocence of unjaded love, and know what they have their resolve for, and go get their solid new beginning. Again, all this energy is still crossed by the Two of Cups there. A new paradigm shift by opening up intuition, emotion, and listening to one's spirit guides and truth gets one out of fakeness, and gets one... Um, to their resolve and transformation from the judgment. Gets them to their lovers. Their two uh, cups expressed there as one takes off the crown, that co King Cobra, and allows it to just fly away as one grabs their Queen of Cups, their Empress, their Ace of Cups. Uh, at least probably to wish fulfillment. Yeah, nothing's going to stop you. Um, all the things of the past just are going in the other direction. You're finally turning around and going towards what one actually wants. Uh, and again, this can flip roles here as well, too. I'm inspired to re-mention. Why? Because of that tower. <laughs> Repeating message. Um, that tower causes this um, perception change. And from that perception change, one sees what one actually wants and allows nothing to stop them to go get it because they have their result. Saw a new beginning, open and receptive, and see the choices ahead. And everything you need is right there to go get your happiness. Happiness. All one has to do. Is face truth. Face truth about what? Our fears. And when we face truth, we get to that solid foundation that no storm could blow down. What a beautiful reading there. Pisces, two fish. So August is going to be a very interesting month for everybody. That's kind of been a repeating message for every slice of the zodiac uh, as I wrap up the 12 zodiac signs here. 
So it's beautiful. Um, just maintain being real and always stand in the light. Having your emotions open and not having that heart jaded. And always just saying and speaking the truth and walking away from illusions. And then hopefully your connection will do the same and don't get lost into fear, regret. It's fear and regret blocks the way from the divine and seeing that in a different light. It's hard work, but it pays off in the end with two cups in hand. <laughs> uh, it's awesome. Now, what's underneath the sun? Ah, oh, that golden heart. As I'll put the two suns together there, we got a binary system blotting out that crap. Ride that wave of emotion there and keep your heart golden. You can just let your hands off the rain, uh, off these reins, and just be like the fool, but with experience. I like it. There's your reading there, uh, Pisces. Uh, again, take what resonates, toss the rest, flip rolls where you need to, adult yourself within this energy, and just have uh, trust and faith in the universe, and realize that all fears are illusions. Transform that in your head. Goes to your person as well, too, for cross-watchers. <laughs> so, uh, if you find yourself in a dark space, Q's got you.